Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about a few of the things that you should know before majoring in computer science. So before going into college, you should at least be familiar with what programming is um, and getting familiar with how to code. So whether you take classes in high school like I did, or if you don't have that option, there are tons of free resources and I'm actually going to have an entirely different video about how to get started with coding. So the second thing is to not compare yourself to other people or be intimidated by the course material. When you first start taking computer science classes in college, it's really easy to start comparing yourself because some people really understand programming and maybe they have a lot of experience and in those introductory classes they kind of show off a bit or you know you can tell that they really understand the concepts and if you're struggling it can be really daunting to focus on other people's success and how they're doing in the class or how they're learning and then compare it to yourself so only worry about yourself and understand that you're going to be learning new things you're not going to be an expert at everything um, and that things take time and don't get discouraged so the next tip is when you're actually in your computer science classes in college, you need to understand that lectures do not teach you everything. You're going to actually have to put in the work outside of class time to probably understand and learn all of the concepts that you're going to be going over um, in your introductory series or whatever class that you're taking. So in high school, you know, you had a class and yeah, maybe you had a homework assignment or two, but you really didn't have to do much on your own time um, in terms of like teaching yourself course material um, and catching up with the topics of the week and things like that. Well, in college, uh, it's definitely not the same as high school. You actually have to put in, like I said, a lot of work and a lot of hours outside of class time if you want to do well in the course. Lectures will only be anywhere from an hour to two hours long and you need to practice the skills that you're going to be learning in that lecture. So you're going to need to find external materials like YouTube professors. There's so many different resources online. Um, it just really depends on like what class that you're looking for. So yeah, you definitely need to get comfortable putting in extra hours and this is how it will be with any major so don't just think that oh just computer science requires time after school and this all brings me to my next tip which is get really good at googling sometimes people joke and say that all programming is is googling things and they're partially true on that so anytime that you come across an issue or you're wondering something about programming like nine out of ten times you can google what you're wondering or what you're stuck on and there will be an answer that you can look through and understand so there will be times where you know you're programming and there may not be office hours or you may not have like a tutor available right then and there so you need to be comfortable with googling these concepts that you're stuck on and finding the answers yourself. So what that means is you need to get good at keyword searching. So, you know, maybe not typing in the exact problem that you were given in class that you're stuck on, but the concept that you're working on. When you're Googling, break your problem down into smaller problems and figure out like what concepts you're not understanding. And a side note with that tip is that if you are going to be Googling a lot of your issues and getting a lot of answers from online, make sure you actually understand what's going on. Because at the end of the day, if you can't explain your own work or you don't understand what you're doing, then it's kind of pointless. So my final tip is to get involved. So try and do this even before you go to college or are thinking about college. In high school, I volunteered, I mentored students. And so when I came to college, I got on the board of two clubs that had to do with women in programming. And then I'm a part of a underrepresented minorities in STEM mentorship program. And those kinds of things look really good on your resume. Of course, they're really fun to do in your free time, but they also look really good on your resume. And so, like I said, it's never too late to start getting involved, whether you're in high school, college, middle school, whatever it is, you can always put yourself out there in any kind of community um, and find Find ways to give back or just work with others so definitely get involved early for my school there is like a clubs page with like 300 different clubs that you can be a part of um, and so every school will have clubs that you can choose from there will most likely be like a club career fair kind of thing that you can attend at the beginning of the year um, but you also don't have to join at the beginning of the year you can always join clubs like throughout the entire year but yeah, being involved is a great way to make friends that are going through the same thing as you, um, and it's a great way to build up your resume. Okay, so those were all of the things I think you should know before majoring in computer science and kind of college advice just in general. If you have any more video ideas, definitely let me know down below. You can also connect with me on Instagram. I'll have all my links down below. And like I said, keep an eye out for more college prep videos and that video on how to get started with coding. I will see you guys in the next video, and thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.